morning peeps today is february 14th which means it's blog time's last day blog time day 14. <music> reality is I still have one of these left over so I'm going to have it for breakfast just because I can. Mm. And it's the last day with Kelly's. How very cool. Mm. Relish it. I hope it's postcards. It feels like postcards. I love postcards. Have I told you that? I love postcards. I gotta go buy some postcard stamps. Oh, it's not. I love these too. Yes. Snap. These are awesome. Color Street Nails. I like Color Street. They're just expensive. Have you ever used them? They're like, what are they? Last time I got some, they were like $13 a pack. I'm down. Oh, I dredged this out since it's no longer relevant. I'm using it on a daily basis. Anyways, Color Street. I like them. I'm so excited. Thank you, Kelly. These are expensive kind. They probably fit my nails better than any other one because they actually have enough sizes. But I just can't dredge up the money. But I'm excited. My sister bought me some. And I've used, I think, two packs of them already. So these look very bright. I feel very bright. I think I'm going to probably wear these next. Yes. Okay. On to the trivia. <clears throat> By the way, this is a collab with A Day with Jennifer and Kel's Kitchen. I don't think I said that yesterday. I'm trying to remember. I'll have to go back and look. It's been one of those weeks. Anyway, thank you, Kelly. Thank you, Jennifer, for playing with me. I had such a good time. I enjoy collabs, and you guys are swell. Okay, so day 14th. Last day of trivia for Valentine's. X's and O's didn't always mean hugs and kisses. It's believed that signing with an X comes from the Middle Ages when an X was used in the place of signature because many people couldn't read or write. It also was a Christian symbol that represented the cross and the idea is that the history of Christians kissing statues of Christ or kissing the Bible led to X getting its meaning as a modern day kiss. So how did the O's get to be hugs? It didn't explain that. It didn't. I'm a little disappointed. I used to use X's and O's some time ago, but I kind of quit. Not really sure why. There was a time when you did, what was it? One, four, three. Do you remember those days? One, four, three. You put one, four, three because it was, one was I, four was love, you know, the four letters of love. And then U was um, three letters. So it was a three for the three letters. So I, one, four, three was I love you. Do you remember those days? TMI, sorry. Okay, we're off to the very last one. And this one just... Actually, I've got two of them because I couldn't get rid of one of them. One of them sounded like I needed it. Okay, here we go. A very important patent was applied for on February 14th on Valentine's Day in 1876. A then 29-year-old Alexander Graham Bell applied for his telephone patent, entitled as an improvement in tele telegraphy. I can read. That same day, inventor Elisha Gray applied for a patent caveat for a similar invention with the same office, but Bell ended up receiving patent approval less than a month later. Y'all know we needed them phones. 
Thank you, Alexander Graham Bell. Although some days I'd rather not be carrying mine on a daily basis because people can find me everywhere. My spousal unit stalks me on the way home from work. Okay, the very last one, I forgot and I threw an extra one. A very important invention was also introduced on Valentine's Day a little over 50 years later. On February 14, 1929, penicillin was introduced by a young bacteriologist named Sir Alexander Fleming, who discovered the mold by mold byproduct accidentally a few months earlier. So, February 14th. Anything special happen to you on that day? Did you get a Valentine's? To be determined. I think I'll get a date night, but it probably won't be till the 15th. Okay, I'm off to eat my chocolate peeps. I hope this finds you absolutely flamazing. Stay blessed. Don't forget to check those girls out because they were flamazing. Until next time.